Oh yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech. Guys, this is the single best computer upgrade you can do to see a huge performance increase. I'm talking about a solid state hard drive or SSD. It's a hard drive made out of flash memory like an SD card, but with high speed memory, built in RAM, and its own CPU to process all the data. What it does is it makes your computer boot super fast and all the apps load as if they were just minimized on the taskbar. You may not realize it, but a lot of times when you're waiting for an app on your computer, you're actually waiting for the hard drive to access the data and not the CPU or the internet. And it especially helps in hard drive intensive applications like video editing and gaming, but also overall system lag is reduced significantly. This drive that I have here is the Samsung 840 250GB version. If you research on the net, this is one of the top performers for the money. I'll put a link to an SSD comparison chart in the video description. There's also a pro version that gives you even higher performance, but you'll pay a price premium for it. I have a pro version also, but I'll review it in another video. This version of the 840 comes with an installation kit which includes a 3.5 inch bay mounting plate, SATA cable, USB to SATA cable, a CD which you can download online, screws, and a drive spacer. If you don't need any of these accessories, you can save a few bucks by just buying the bare drive. Also, all the software that's needed to image your old drive to your new SSD can be downloaded from Samsung's website. This is my Toshiba Protege R835 laptop. It's got a pretty quick i5 CPU in it, but I can tell it's usually waiting on the 5400 RPM hard drive. I'll show you how to install and mirror the drive and then some benchmarks. The first thing you'll need to do is head on over to Samsung's website and download and install two apps. You'll need the Magician software and the data migration tool. The Magician software just optimizes Windows for an SSD. Be sure and run it after you're up and running on your new drive. The data migration tool lets you make an image of your current drive on the SSD. This will let you continue seamlessly on your new drive with all your old drive software. I also deleted any unneeded files and defragmented my drive just to be on the safe side before I get started. Now it's time to finally transfer all the data. So we'll hook up the supplied adapter, plug that into the USB port on the laptop, wait for just a minute for Windows to discover the new hardware, then right click my computer, choose Manage. Once you're in Computer Management, choose Disk Management. At the bottom you'll see information about each disk on the system. You're looking for one that matches the information of your SSD. Right click on the black area of that drive and choose New Simple Volume. Then format the drive and you are ready for imaging. Next up, open the data migration tool and hit start. This will take a while, it took my computer about 5 hours. I made sure and set the settings so that it wouldn't go into sleep mode in the meantime. So the question is, what tools do I need to open up a laptop? Well, this is pretty much it right here. This is the cobalt ratcheting screwdriver and I love it. It's got the little fine bits that you need for opening laptops, plus it has this ratcheting function where either way you turn, the screw turns the same way, so it saves you a ton of time. And it also has a regular ratchet where if you just don't grab the middle piece, it will go only one way when you turn it. It also comes with a bunch of other bits that you need all the time for computer stuff like Torx heads and small regular flathead screws and it also came with a second larger screwdriver I use around the house. Okay, it's now time for the fun part. So we're going to use a very fine Phillips screwdriver to remove the back panels on the laptop. And here's the original hard drive. Just carefully pull it out and the cables are all folded underneath there. And this plug has both power and data on it. Then just plug in our new hard drive and we need to make sure it's secured in there so we're going to use that spacer that came with the kit. This will keep the drive snug up against the back cover plate and we're ready to screw everything back together. I did run into one issue during my first boot and I needed to go back into the BIOS and change the boot order. I'm not sure if it was that or that it needed to see the new drive in there and scan it but once I saved it, it rebooted into Windows and everything ran fine. I booted up into Windows super fast with this new SSD. I'll show you that in a minute, but first I want to show you the benchmark I did on Crystal Disk Mark. As you can see, the SSD scored almost four times as fast, all the way up to almost ten times as fast, depending on the different operations the benchmark ran. Also, running this benchmark took much longer on the standard hard drive. MS Word loads super fast with the new SSD. Look at that, it loads as if it was just minimized on the taskbar. And I've had this laptop for a while too. Imagine what you could do with the latest i7 system. This SSD will work great on a MacBook too. My brother updated his fiance's MacBook Pro and it's working better than brand new now. And there we go, Word has finally finished loading. Adobe programs are the perfect example of apps that need an SSD. 
Just look how fast Photoshop loads after the upgrade. Really, the whole system loads so much snappier and faster now. Even my internet browsing is sped up quite a bit now. I think it's because I load about nine tabs at a time on Firefox, and this way all the cached data gets loaded much quicker. I'm super happy with this drive because now my laptop is completely silent. Before I could always hear this faint high-pitched sound of the drive spinning and I could feel a slight vibration too and that's gone as well. Adobe Premiere is another one of those programs that needs an SSD. I didn't even try it on my laptop before because it was so slow. Now it loads faster than my i7 desktop. It still can't crunch numbers as fast but the scrubbing through videos is a lot better so it's a lot easier to work with. To wrap things up, I want to show you a comparison of the boot up before and after the upgrade to the Samsung 840 SSD. Now my laptop truly does boot up in under 30 seconds. I had to edit out the part where I put in my password, but I don't think that subtracted anything from the boot up time. The standard hard drive does boot to the Windows desktop in about a minute, but the hard drive light is still going and you can't really use it for about 4 more minutes because it's still loading things in the background. And there you go, the SSD has fully booted in about 26 seconds. Guys, I got a really good deal on this drive. The way I did it is I put it in my cart on Amazon, and what Amazon does is their algorithm constantly searches the net for the best deals, and whenever a site's price drops a lot, Amazon's price drops a lot. And when you have the item in your cart, they notify you that the price has changed. So after watching the drive for a week or two, I noticed the price got really cheap one day. I thought it maybe was a mistake at first, and I waited, and the next day it went back up again. But then a couple days later, it went down to almost the same low price, and I just bought it right then. And it turned out to be a great deal. It's gone up a little bit since then, but every now and then it drops down. I still watch the price of the drive, even though I've already bought it. So again, whatever drive or whatever item for that matter that you want, add it to your Amazon cart and just watch it for a week or two. It seems like Sundays and Wednesdays are really good days, but let me know what you think down in the comments below if there's other better days to get good prices on Amazon. Also on holidays, Amazon's prices will suddenly dip sometimes, so keep an eye on them on holidays especially. I'll put a link to this drive and a couple others that I think are good drives for the money and just monitor them for a couple of weeks and see how the prices go. I think you can get yourself a good deal. Once again, I've got to say, a solid state hard drive will get you a big performance gain and the price per megabyte is getting pretty cheap now. Plus, for a laptop, it's really one of the only things that you can upgrade. And it just happens to be one of the things that makes the biggest difference. Alright guys, I'm just going to have to ask you one favor. If you like this video, hit that little thumbs up button right down there below the video. It'll help me out so much. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You'll see more videos like it and you'll be notified when they come out. So, thanks for watching and as always, aloha.